Welcome back everyone. Just wanted to quickly touch on how to navigate Ticketmaster. We have some people that are really brand new to the business. In fact, they've never even bought tickets in their lifetime or maybe they're really not tech savvy at all. Not that you need to be tech savvy to do this business, but maybe they just need a little bit of a boost. Just some extra assistance when navigating, whether it's on a mobile device or on a desktop. So let's just take a look at Ticketmaster quickly and I think this video you'll find very helpful. So on Ticketmaster, right? I mean, this is the hub to buy all tickets, no pun intended, given we are a ticket flipping hub. And I mean, you could buy anything from sports to concerts, to miscellaneous events, to comedy, to wrestling, to boxing, anything and anything. I mean, any event, any major event that's anywhere, it all originates from Ticketmaster. That is the major, major ticket ticketing platform for essentially every artist, team, band on planet Earth, at least predominantly in the United States as well as some major countries. So with that being said, folks, you're on Ticketmaster here. Right now, if you're logged in, you'll probably have a bit more of a personal preference and outlay here, right? It'll probably know your location and some things that you've already viewed, right? Maybe some events that you're interested in, maybe a particular genre. It'll be a bit more catered and personalized to you. But if you're just on Ticketmaster as a guest, this is what it looks like, and you can always put in your city or zip code here and find events that are near you, of course. Um, you'll usually see some recommended events. You'll typically see some pre-sales coming up. You'll typically see some sporting events, some theater that are hot or on sale, and they got some blog posts. That's basically the homepage of Ticketmaster, so let's just try a little experiment here just so you guys kind of get an understanding of what it looks like when you go ahead and search for an event. Just say off the top of the head, Nicki Minaj as an example, right? You'll type in Nicki, it'll usually come up first result. And from there, you could see all the events coming up. Now, if there are pre-sales coming up, right? You'll see around here where it says find tickets and the event, you'll see pre-sale happening now. And when that pre-sale is either gonna be starting, if it didn't start yet, or it will just say pre-sale happening now. But all these dates on her tour are on sale this second. So none of them say pre-sale happening now. Let's just say we click on one of these dates. We're not gonna do this one. This is rolling loud. Let's just do her personal tour. So that way you get an idea of what to look for. And this is very important, right? Especially if you're brand new to this business, you wanna understand all this before you go ahead and buy any tickets, before you're actually taking any of our alerts and following them. You just wanna kinda of get an understanding of the feel for things on Ticketmaster. So you'll be brought to a seating map, okay? Just generally speaking, uh, you'll usually see a seating map like this in an arena style venue where you have the floor over here, the 100 sections, and these might be 200s or 300 sections further and further if it's a bigger venue or smaller if it's a smaller venue. Now, sometimes what you'll see in an arena style venue is maybe they won't even sell the upper 300s or 400 sections. Maybe they'll keep it a little bit smaller. That's what's typical for an artist that maybe could sell more than a theater event but not necessarily the entire arena. They might only block off some of the sections and only sell some of them. A lot of times what you'll actually see for WWE nowadays is they'll only be selling like half of this venue. So you only see maybe from you know the upper hemisphere, if you want to say that, uh, of this arena, you'll only see that for sale. And this will usually be blocked off uh, just for their media and TV purposes. Sometimes you'll see that with WWE events or even small, some of these smaller promotions. Now, when you see these lighter blue areas here, everyone always asks about this, about the colors. You know, if it's their first time, they're brand new, they're always saying, what do these colors mean? It's very, very simple. It just means that the lighter blue sections are more sold out, or at least have sold more tickets, and the darker the section gets, the darker the blue, that means there are more tickets available. Now, you don't want to just go based off this, and you also don't want to just go based on the seating list over here, okay? That's a big mistake I see a lot of people make is especially if on a mobile device, they don't even look at the seating map because it only shows you the ticket list first before the seating map. That's a big no-no because with a ticket list, it's automatically gonna default to lowest price and you're only gonna be shown usually the upper sections, okay? That does not give you all the options and if you had to, if you wanted to buy better tickets, you'd have to scroll through all of these tickets, which is gonna take a long time. So that's a big no-no. Do not buy just based on the ticket list. Now you could hover over to best seats, but that doesn't necessarily mean that those are the seats that you wanna buy either. Okay, we talk about all this in our video training. We talk a lot about seating and what are the best seats to buy, the video training included with our Ticket Broker Gold program. Okay, so 
what is always best to do is to zoom in on the seating map. Okay, a lot of these tickets are sold, and you can see a lot of them are verified resale tickets. So that's why the seating map, you have a lot of red here. Those red dots or red seats are verified resale tickets. The blue ones are original tickets, original to Ticketmaster that have not been purchased yet. Of course, anything that's white out, or if you zoom in even further, you'll even see that those dots are gray. Those gray dots have sold. Now, it doesn't necessarily always mean that because sometimes if that section is blocked off, then those gray dots may have not even been available in the first place. So just some basic knowledge for you folks. And if you're on a desktop, you can always drag this with your mouse. You click on it and hold it, and you'll be able to hover over the seating map and get an aerial view of everything. You can do the same on your phone. Okay. So again, all the red dots are resale tickets being resold just by sellers like us. Okay. There might even be some members in there that those are their tickets. Now, of course, it will show you the stage. Okay, so that's what the stage looks like. And a lot of times in an arena style venue, you'll also see a pit. Okay, so sometimes this is not reserved seating. Actually a little bit surprised for Nicki Minaj why there was not a pit offered when she'd be an artist that I think would happily welcome a pit, but I guess that was just the artist and venue choice. Uh, so usually a lot of times there'll be a pit here or general admission section near the stage. In this case though, it's all reserved seating. And that is basically it as far as what Ticketmaster looks like on a seating map. Okay, you got your ticket list here. Again, all these verified resale tickets. So a lot of these tickets have sold. It will always give you some more info on the event. This is more so for the fan as opposed to the seller. It'll tell you maybe who's opening for the event, the location, the start time, show time, door time, right? This is all information that's more so for the fan and actually the event goer some more information over here okay sometimes it may also tell you that there is a ticket delivery in place so that's what this is right here the ticket delivery delay okay in this case what you'll do don't freak out if there is a delay on your tickets you'll just simply list them on on StubHub as a delivery day delay you know as far as the ticket transfer having to take place closer to the event or you know the day of or day after that it's saying that that those tickets will ultimately be delivered or if Ticketmaster resale is eligible, you just resell them on Ticketmaster and Ticketmaster handles all that as far as delivering the tickets to the buyer and you don't have to worry about any of that. So sometimes it happens, you know, ticket delivery delay is a lot more common nowadays than it was maybe back then, but it's the same process, nothing really different. You just on StubHub, if you're selling on StubHub, want to put that you're transferring the tickets later as opposed to this second. Just make sure you do that. Otherwise, maybe the customer might start wondering where their tickets are. So just make sure that you have that setting in place and we also talk about that in our video training. Ticketmaster is pretty easy to navigate, nothing too complicated with Ticketmaster. They really streamlined their site and platform to make it as user friendly as possible and it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, another tip I'd recommend is that always look down here for more events, right? So sometimes what happens is is let's say, you know, we're alerting a few events, right, in our one of our sub alerts and you know, multiple venues and dates are alerted. And then you go on this first page here and you might say, hey, you know, where's where's this date that I'm looking for? Always go down here to more events because there might be more to find and more to scroll to. So that's just a little tip there. Look out for more events. Now, when it comes to actually finding, evaluating, analyzing, and doing the research on which events to buy for, we talk about all that in our video training. We use other outside platforms, not including Ticketmaster, of course, Ticketmaster to find the event and look at them and past performance, things like that. But we use a lot of other outside platforms and we talk about all that in our video training as far as finding and evaluating events. Now, if you're brand, brand new, we recommend just sticking to the alerts, right? So, you know, we wouldn't necessarily recommend venturing out and branching out and doing your own events. If you're brand new with no experience, we definitely recommend sticking to our sub alerts because all of that work, analysis and research is already taken out and done for you. So if you wanna go ahead and get started today, go ahead and use the link down below in the description of this video. It will also be the pinned comment. You can join today, sign up, and we've got a great community, a lot of resources, and a lot of training, and of course our alerts, and tons of support for you, unlimited support for you, for people that are brand new and experienced alike. We welcome you all. So if you have any questions, definitely let us know down in the comment section, or you can contact us, and we look forward to working with you, and welcome aboard.